Uh, it's a little dark this morning because uh, we had a huge storm that was producing a lot of tornadoes come through last night. And we decided to stay where we were for one more night instead of driving in it. And this is the wraparound, last rain band. So yeah. we just got a little bit of rain for just a little bit. And then we'll be free and clear. And we may run into some snow. <laughs> yep. But we were staying with some really good friends and we love staying with them. And it's yeah. nice that they love having us. And we had a good time. Sad to go, but we know it's see you later for sure. Yeah, we'll definitely see them later. Uh, we finished doing their solar build. Um, well, we did for a them. Stage. Yeah, we did. We did a, a small boondocking build for them. The way that they want to travel is three to five days, and so we basically got them a battery um, and a DC to DC converter and a good solar MPPT charge controller and they're gonna go and try it out they're are going to RV in a couple weeks here and we built the system to be able to do that but you guys know as well as we do once you start boondocking you normally catch the bug and if that's the case we can easily scale their system we can easily add additional batteries we can easily add additional solar because we planned for that up front so we are headed west. Uh, we figured it out yesterday, officially, that we're heading west. So we are headed towards Salt Lake City. So we're gonna make a good run from uh, basically Chicago, or just north of Chicago, yeah. to, uh, to Salt Lake City. So we're gonna, we've done this run on I-80 many times. Yes, yes we have. So <laughs> we've got our favorite spots to pull over for the night um, one is going to absolutely blow your mind and it's free and it is right off the interstate it's called wild horse mountain loop and it's in green river wyoming and yes they're actually wild horses that uh, roam around up there and you're up on a ridge and you get to see two cities down below watch the traffic and trains snake around through the valley it's a lot of fun to be up there it's pretty it's cool. a really cool spot for it's sure it's not that hard to get up there no you can get up there with fifth wheels um, <laughs> fifth wheels and class a's yeah. can get up there real easy um, you definitely won't be putting your awning out um or anything like that yeah. but it's a beautiful location we use it for a one night and go we'll just enjoy the journey with you guys if anything happens we'll let you know the uh the tire got patched by discount tire for free Yes. As they do that, that was as awesome. long as it's patchable, they will patch it for free. Which is awesome because we didn't get our tires from there. These are still the standard tires from the factory. So yep. um, we really, really love working with Discount Tire and they they get our business for sure. Yep. So we believe we can make this trip to Salt Lake City on these tires yeah. tread wise. And then once we get to Salt Lake City, we're going to find a discount tire, probably the same one that we used for King Leo. Probably. <laughs> probably the same one we used for King Leo to get new tires for the RV and possibly tires for Pearl. Yeah. So we're going to enjoy the route. We're going to get some trains to honk, some semis to honk. <laughs> we're going to enjoy the trip. Hopefully we get in a little snowstorm, but it's not icy. And we're gonna enjoy the adventure. It's gonna be a long couple days for sure. Miles. It is it is super windy. It is consistently 25 to 30 at least. And gusting 50 to 60. So we are getting terrible fuel mileage. And we are headed directly west into the wind. The way save hitch is doing really, really good. We really aren't having any sway. We're actually driving behind another two campers and they're, they have a ton of sway. And while the wind is blowing us around, the trailer isn't swaying. 
and that makes a huge, huge difference. But we're just going to keep driving. Hopefully we can get out of this wind soon. In the next four or five hours, we can get out of the wind, hopefully. And then we can uh, start making some time up, I guess. skies there's no wind so now we're getting back to our 10 to 11 miles per gallon instead of six which is really nice and there's almost no wind here which is really good so we're able to just cruise on down the road at 65 we are uh, just about into Nebraska we're I think we're 19 or 20 miles from Omaha right now. But we're gonna see if we can't get on the other side of Omaha before we stop. That way we don't have to deal with any rush hour traffic or any morning traffic or anything like that when we get up to leave in the morning. So that's how we normally do it when we travel. We try to get just to the other side of a big city, save ourselves the traffic hassle. So we'll uh, let you guys enjoy this beautiful sunset you can see it's starting to shape up. It's going to be a super nice one. But we'll, uh, we're going to enjoy the rest of our drive and we'll let you know where we stop. Hey, so uh, we actually got in late to Kearney, Nebraska, and we ended up staying at Cabela's overnight. Uh, it was 40 to 50 miles an hour sustained, so we put the stabilizers down, and we slept really fast and got back up at 5 a.m. and took off, and we had a nice surprise waiting for us. Just outside of Cheyenne, we're in Nebraska on I-80, going into Cheyenne, Wyoming, and uh, it's starting to snow. So we're trying to make it to a Boondockers Welcome, south of Salt Lake City. Uh, their cutoff is 6 p.m. We'll see. It's gonna be close. It's gonna be real close. But. It's snowing, so enjoy the scenery.
Well, we didn't film much once we got into Utah because there's a lot of mountains and the traffic got really bad, so we didn't film. Um, maybe we should have because we had a car dart over four lanes and brake stomp right in front of us to get off an exit and we would have smashed them if they tried to cut in. So that was fun. Good thing the brakes on the trailer and the car were really good. But uh, yeah, that was fun. And then we pulled into our boondockers welcome. This is an incredible place. Um, they're doing 50 amp water and sewer hookups. And we are in Riverton, Utah which puts us just outside one of the companies we work with. And we are super excited to go there tomorrow and check them out. Yeah, for the first time in person, we've been super excited with their product. You guys know that uh, we like finding the quality products and getting them to you guys. And this is one of those products. So next week is gonna be a good video. We're gonna have a chat with the engineer and also with uh, our main point of contact. And we are really looking forward to it. We'll see you next week. We're on to the next adventure.